Hey guys, it's Rob here from Floor Sculpture. So I was driving my uh, EP3, my daily car, to work last week and uh, realised that uh, the rear brake caliper on the passenger side had seized up. So what I'm going to show today is a kit that I've bought off eBay to refurb the brake caliper and also taking it off, putting it back on, that kind of thing. So I uh, hope you enjoy. So what I'll do now is just check the car up. I've already slightly loosened the wheel nuts off. I'll get this on so I can get the axle stand underneath. Here, yeah, so now I've got the uh, wheel off. Just going to put an axle stand underneath just to uh, support the rear of the car while I work on it. Get a little bit higher. So the car's on a jack stand now. Decided to go for the centre of the car as opposed to uh, just on all these legs here. What I'll do now is just put some uh, penetrating uh, stuff on some WD-40. Try and free off uh, some of these old bolts. So there's two 12 12 mil on the actual caliper itself and then there's two 14 mils on the back and I think that's a 14 mil as well for the uh, brake brake uh, pipe so I'll let that set for a little bit and then uh, come back and we'll start working on trying to remove it all right so I've basically cracked all the nuts off um, I don't know if you can see here so this is the M12, sorry about the blurriness of the camera, so that's the M12s holding the caliper front to the back, 40mm uh, there for your uh, brake fluid, so that's the brake lines. I improvised a little bit here because I didn't have any uh, brake line, I guess, um, clamps, so I've made my own. And also there's a holding there's a strap there that's bolted that holds the uh, brake line in place so they're all loosened off so I'll take them off and then you'll be able to see the uh, the whole thing dismantled also I need to take this off as well which is the handbrake release cable uh, the handbrake's off right now so uh, basically I'll get a spanner in between there prise it off in fact I'll try and show you right now And there you go, so that's the uh, handbrake cable now released, so like I say, I'll uh, take the rest of the bolts out and then you'll see the full caliper stripped.
and there you go so that should come off I don't know if you can see so and this is the C's caliper it's not in the best shape as you can imagine really sorry about the quality of the camera but there you go so we're now going to strip it out and uh, go from there right so hopefully you can see what I've done is I've actually connected it back up um, and just held it with a couple of uh, zip ties just so that I can uh, pull the piston out because at the moment well sorry before it was really tight but now it's moving freely so hopefully I can just unwind this out now um, and then pull the actual old piston off but before I do that I've obviously um, basically uh, just clamped up the uh, brake pipe again and then I'll take off the uh, brake pipe up the top take off the bolt and then remove the caliper again and hopefully just pull the caliper straight the piston out the caliper straight out right so as you can see I've got the piston out um, one of the things that I didn't realize is that there's like a, a C clip in there a circlet uh, that needs taking out and putting into the new one because the new one's empty so I've got a quickly nip to my friends to pull that out and put the gubbins from the old one into the new one um, one of the things that you can also see well you probably can't see to be honest is um, uh, it's pitted on the edge so that proves that there's been some water in there at some point and the culprit to all of this is this where is it there there's a tear and also when you look at the state of it it's all mangled so the casing was no good I was letting water in so at the moment what I'm doing is I've got the caliper and just cleaning all the inside where the piston's going to sit so that it can't get uh, trapped or won't seize anymore there's also a little square washer in there that I'll remove take that out clean it up and put a new one in so I'll just put my glove back on and I'll uh, just do a little bit more just to show you what I'm doing so all I'm using here is a bit of scotch pad just working my way all the way around obviously try not to get as much debris in as possible because I don't want any more issues reason why I'm doing it like this is because there's two bolts in here and I can't free them off so unfortunately I've got to work like this so it's a bit a bit harder to do but I'll get it done in the end so what I'm trying to do like I say just get into these bits, I don't know if you can see the little grooves, got to clean them all out, clean all the edges so they're smooth uh, I've got a bit of brake cleaner as well just spraying there, just to pull all the crap out and then once we've done that, we can move on to the calipers as well so we're going to take these covers off here, the pin covers renew them clean all this up as well inside here and we'll probably trim I run a flap disc across the edges here just where it's kind of seized on a little bit because they're quite hard to get out there you go so we'll just tidy them up down there then put a bit of anti-seize on when we put them in right so I'm going to pull the old washer out now I'm pretty happy with how this has come out all clean I just need to pull the the old square washer off there you go it's a bit grubby so I'll get some brake cleaner in there try and point it downwards so I'm not pushing any of the debris into the back of the piston there
build them. So in here is a pack that I got from eBay. So you get uh, some silicone, get some grease for guide pins. You get a number of silly guide pins, uh, seals again. your main one for your piston seal there and that's your new square square cut one so what I'll do is I'll put a bit of, uh, bit of grease or silicon to push it in get it in place and then I'll start rebuilding the actual uh, guy pin ones as well clean all this up I've already had a go at it uh, clean these pull these off and off I go and then I'll rebuild all the assembly back up together. Also, I need to go to my friends just to take off the. I'll take out the gubbins out the back of the old piston and put it into the new one. Um, and yeah, we're pretty much there, really. Right, just need to dry inside of there, so I'll go and get a cloth. Cleaned up. Oh, sorry about that. thin now which could be a little bit fiddly but we'll see right. slightly twisted on that edge but she's almost in Well, I never thought this was going to be fun anyway, so the joy of having cars I guess. Right, okay, that's in. So what I'll do now, now that's in perfectly, I'll get a bit of this silicon grease and just grease around it, which will aid the piston when we start to wind it back in. That's if I can open a packet of course. Get it all the way around and it all greased up. So these kits that you can get, the rebuild kits, are about £20. Uh, the company that I got this from was uh, Fentech UK, which is a company 
based in Burnley so it only took a day for it to come really good like I say £20 so not bad as opposed to spending £130 on a new caliper depending on where you go of obviously so So we'll get any rubbish on it. So. Same again on the bottom one. Just as you can, look, there you go as well. There's a tear in that, so it's a good job we're actually refurbing it. They just pull out. That off there, pull the old one out. There should be another new one somewhere if you haven't kicked it. No, it's down here. And these just clip in, it's got a lip there on the end, it just sits inside the old one. So you've got to be careful if you're using the screwdrivers because you don't want to go through the new ones. Yeah, it's been a bit tricky this one. The new one went on alright. Right, cool. So that's done. So what I need to do now is you've got another bag here I don't know if you can read that but this is the grease for the guy pins so you can only use the grease for the guy pins oh. put some grease in that one some more into there like so Clean these up, clean the old pins with a rag, whatever you got to get the old grease off. Just rub it on there so you've got get a nice coating all the way around it. And then it should be a simple case of just pushing back in and then that'll slide back over and then the excess just rub away or wipe away. Again, same thing, clean it up, get all the old garbage off there, we got a bit of lube, we all love lube, well some of us might, <laughs> and again same thing, just push it in, yeah this one's a bit more tricky, for some reason, might have put a bit too much in, so I might have to take some out. Interesting. Right, let's try that again. Right, 
Right, yep. Yeah. So. Might need a little bit more taken out of there, actually. But I'll leave that for now. Anyway, so, last thing we need to do is just clean all these up. Which, again, I'll use a scotch pad. Just to rub away. And then the old brake dust, or anti seize the copper grease that I put on there. Right, so that's it. So I just need to move on to just need to sort out the piston now, and then we're ready for uh, rebuilding and setting the piston back into the caliper itself. So once I've done that, I'll check back in and I'll uh, show you the process of putting it all back together. All right, so I've been to my friend's place. So I've put the ex oh, internal parts of the old piston into the new one. Um, what I didn't realise is, is there's a spring that's behind the circlip. So we had to push it in. We used a 17mm uh, socket. We used a, uh, like a, a G-clamp just to squeeze it back in. And then once it's done, it's ready. So what I'll do now is I'll put this, put the cover onto the piston which then goes into the caliper which I have somewhere and then I will wind wind the piston into the caliper I'll just drop this down so you can see what I'm doing so this jacket here basically needs to go into this recess if I can get it on Might be a bit fiddly, but it's on. That's it. And then what you need is this part here that needs to sit into this recess over here. I'll grab one of these torches because uh, it's now pitch black in Britain. So it needs to sit into that recess there. Put a little bit of lube onto the piston just to ease it in. Not a lot, just a, a little bit, just to smooth it around and help it just uh, fit in there. Okay. So. so you should be able to start this off by winding it in by hand like I say I've got a winding tool as well which is yeah, starting to go um, see if ruler to help twist it in okay. Right, so I've got uh, the, the piston uh, winder tool, so I just need to fit it in there. It's got these little dimples here which sits in the crosses and helps you wind the tool in. Obviously make sure it's all square before you do this. Um, it needs to go in a little bit more, that's it. So it should go in quite easily, which it is. So what you need to do now, just a little bit fiddly, is just make sure that this seal gets sat in. Just 
push it around. Might need a little bit more actually, just to push it in. Sometimes you use this bracket. If the piston's really hard and won't move. That looks like it's done it on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'll just keep pushing this seal around just to make sure that I've got it all in. Once I've got it in, then I'll start recording and show you it pushed in. Because at the moment I think it's still popping out. So just bear with me. So there you go, guys. So that's the piston uh, boot or the piston jacket whatever you want to call it that's now in place all installed so it's flush all the way around all I need to do now is just uh, push it down so it shouldn't be that hard to do especially if you're using the, the red rubber grease and just push it all the way to the bottom so that we can then uh, grease the top of the piston and then uh, that way as well, we can also uh, put the caliper, put the calipers back on. Um, so what I'll do now is just wind that to the bottom, and then start rebuilding uh, the whole brake assembly back up. So uh, yeah, I'll switch to that now. Right. So the first thing to go back on is the bracket that holds the caliper pads. So we'll put um, the two M10s that hold this on. Uh, don't forget to put your anti-seize on there as well. So put them in, only finger tight for now, just to get everything all lined up. Don't know why that keeps coming out. Right, and also remember to put a bit of copper grease on these as well. It'll help the calipers slide so that they don't seize up. And uh, so okay, so put a bit of copper grease on them just make sure you don't get it on you oh, and the brake discs themselves otherwise you won't be stopping right okay and also remember I don't know if you can see it there on the edges as well just put a bit of copper grease on these the top and the bottom that goes at the bottom as well it's like a little lip remember and also you can put some on the back where the piston meets the brake brake pad itself there you go Put a bit more on it. Put the front one on. Start putting the piston back on the back as well. That slides on. Then you've got your two M12s to go on. Again, you're getting your copper grease 
making sure the, that the copper grease goes on there. So what you'll probably need to do as well is uh, when tightening up the back bolt you also have to put a spanner on here as well just to make sure that it doesn't spin when you're tightening it up. Um, last things to do really other than that is put the brake cable, uh, sorry the handbrake cable back on um, here which isn't too bad. Uh, put the put the brake pipe on, uh, take off the clamp and then what we'll do is uh, fill the reservoir up and uh, start bleeding. Take off this bleed nipple here, crack off that and then start to bleed in the brakes uh, and that's it, you're ready to go. So what I'll do is I'll tighten up the nuts, again put an amber brake cable back on and uh, that's it pretty much. So. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, how to uh, refurbish your brake caliper and uh, if you have any queries, questions, don't hesitate to uh, write down below. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe guys, I appreciate all your comments. Thank you very much for watching.